Welcome back everyone to another CSR Racing 2 video and I'm sorry for not uploading lately. I am literally so sorry and I thank you guys for sticking around with me for a very long time. Um, yeah, from now on I will actually be recording every day, you know, two videos a day when I, f when I feel like, you know, the uploading mood but sometimes when I actually feel like it I will upload three videos a day you know but it's gonna take a lot of editing but it's fine obviously you guys you know watch and enjoy and all that stuff so yeah so quick start up you want to go to upgrade and check that you have no fusion parts you hear that no fusion parts so nothing engine Zero fusion parts, turbo zero fusion part, intake zero fusion part, nafs and all that, etc. etc. Body kit, yep, as you can see, you guys already got what I mean by that. Boom, nothing. I think I missed one. Oh god, I think I missed one. He almost transmission, transmission, engine. So yeah, you guys. So you guys won't think I'm lying when I say it. And also make sure everything is stage six upgrade up, upgraded, alright? So everything. But to be honest you can't even fit in lower stage upgrades, so you're you're fine, you're fine. So then when you go into the tune you would need to check for the NOS that you have 135 bhp to 2.6 seconds for the final drive you'll need to check that you have 3.29 and for the tire pressure you'll need to check that you have 27 psi to 56 acceleration to 44 grip so if I go to into the dyno as you can see it says the quarter mile time I will get will be 11.813 which is a lie because I can get a faster time and I'll show you guys a shift time for you guys to practice and perfect it so start off so every race under tier 3 I mean sorry if my voice sounds weird I have I've still got a cold but nothing to worry about that so under tier 4 everything, every race will be a quarter mile, so you don't need to worry about the half a mile tune. And also this tune I'm, I'm showing you guys is a quarter mile tune, so yeah. <clears throat> so you need to, for the first two shifts you have to do good shifts, and then for the last shift you need to do perfect shift. So you do good shift. Nice, good shift, perfect shift. Okay, if you guys don't have to do the drop launch, then move on to the sp spider launch. Good shift, nice, good shift, perfect shift. I messed up on that launch, but it will give you about 11.75 if you mess up, mess up the launch, so that's fine. So let's do it one more time just to show you guys. The better launch you get, the faster the time will be. So keep that in mind. And also, here's the thing I am really sorry for not uploading how to win a tier 5 boss car because I literally haven't beaten a tier 5 boss car. Because I do not have the right upgrade, I mean, I haven't got the stage 6 upgrade yet. So, yeah, I only have two stage 6 upgrades for the 488 Spider, but I think I need about three to actually beat him easily. Not really easily, but have a chance to beat him. So, yeah, so the average time you get is about 11.73. Okay, so when you get a perfect launch. And two good shifts and a perfect shift this is the time you will get so if you guys 
have any more questions or actually any more tunes that you guys want me to tune I mean, oh my god what am i saying so if you guys have any more cars for me to tune then leave down in the comment section below and i will i will try to chew the car so yeah if you guys have actually liked this video please leave a like and comment on what video i should do next or what gameplay i should do next or tips or anything any game i will help you guys i am planning to do a headball gameplay you know because it's a popular game right now so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace